I'm Astro Teller. I'm the captain of Moonshots at Google X, and I'm at Can Lions. I think there is an assumption baked into all of Google that making the world a radically better place is a business plan. It is arguably the business plan, not just for Google, but it's maybe the best business plan you can have, and that any company can have that. And Google X is a distillation of that ethos, which is how can we pick particularly audacious ways to try to make the world a radically better place, come up with science fiction sounding products or services, having nothing necessarily to do with what Google is right now, as long as they actually would make the world a radically better place, and then get started on making them. So presumably we wouldn't get started unless we knew how to get started. We wouldn't choose that as a path. Uh, so self-driving cars falls into this uh, ethos pretty nicely. You know, more than a million people a year die in car accidents every year. Uh, cars that drive themselves is a science fiction sounding product or service. And we have a set of good reasons to believe that this is possible. Oh, I'm sure that creative people can do it their own version of thinking big. But uh, what I was just advocating was instead of thinking of themselves as excluded from the process I just described, even though it's a very technology-oriented process, the storytelling, the creativity is actually very foundational to the process of taking a moonshot. That knowing you can make something does not necessarily make a moonshot by itself. It is the perspective shift necessary uh, the perspective shifting gives you that new point of view that shows you a way forward where there didn't look like one before. And that process comes best from people who understand something about technology but also have a gift at creativity, at perspective shifting, and at storytelling. I think that um, a lot of the value that's being produced in the world is being produced these days by people who are creative and technically oriented, but that certainly doesn't mean that geeks have inherited the Earth. Uh, I would like to think that it's all of our planet and we all need to take care of it. I would like to think that we can all work together. That's actually why I came here, is to try to encourage the creative community not to run away and let the geeks build whatever they think best by themselves, but to work hand in hand with them to come up with the best points of view, the best story possible for what the technology is great for.